Kids, where are you? It's time for all the art to tell stories. Once upon a time, in the vast expanse of the ocean, a tiny water droplet named Drip swirled in the waves. Drip had always dreamed of adventure, curious about the world beyond the salty sea. One sunny morning, as the sun warmed the water, Drip felt light and buoyant. Before long, he rose into the air, beginning his extraordinary journey as part of the water cycle. Drip's adventure began with evaporation. As the sun's rays heated the surface of the ocean, Drip, along with countless other droplets, floated skyward. He marveled at the change. He was no longer liquid, but a tiny vapor particle. Around him, other droplets shared their excitement about where the winds might take them. As the cloud drifted over landscapes, Drip listened to stories from other droplets who had been through the cycle before. Some spoke of landing in rivers, others in mountains or cities. Drip wondered where his journey would lead. One chilly evening, the cloud grew heavy. Drip felt himself condensing, transforming back into a liquid droplet. Then, with a rush of exhilaration, he began to fall. Below, he could see a dense green forest. I'm going to land there, he thought. Drip splashed onto a wide leaf, sliding down its surface before falling to the forest floor. The forest was alive with activity. Roots from towering trees drank the water, and Drip joined others seeping into the soil. Welcome to the forest, a nearby droplet said. You'll love it here. Drip felt comforted by the camaraderie. Drip continued his journey underground, weaving through soil and rocks. He discovered an underground stream and joined the flowing water. Along the way, he met minerals and nutrients that explained their role in nourishing plants. We work together to keep the forest healthy, they said. Drip learned how vital his presence was in the ecosystem. Every drop counts, a wise mineral said. Even you, Drip, are part of something much bigger than yourself. Eventually, Drip found his way to a river. The sunlight sparkled on the water's surface. The river meandered through fields and towns. Drip delighted in the new sights children playing on the riverbank, farmers using water to grow crops, and animals coming to drink. One day, a storm swelled the river, and Drip felt the current grow stronger. He realized that water wasn't just a source of life. It could also be powerful, and at times, destructive. That's why it's important to respect and manage water, an old fish told him. Drip took the lesson to heart. The river eventually carried Drip back to the ocean. He was greeted by old friends who had completed their own cycles. They shared stories of their travels, and Drip told them about the forest, the underground stream, and the river. Reflecting on his journey, Drip realized how interconnected everything was. From the sky to the forest, the soil to the river and back to the sea, water played a role in sustaining life. Drip felt proud to be part of such an important cycle. Drip's story doesn't end there. As part of the water cycle, Drip continued to travel, teaching everyone he met about the importance of water conservation. He told the soil to hold on to water carefully, the rivers to flow responsibly, and even the humans he encountered to use water wisely. Drip's journey became a legend. 
His story was passed on to teach children about the wonders of the water cycle and the need to protect this precious resource. Drip showed that even the smallest droplets could make a big difference. From oceans to clouds, from forests to rivers, Drip's journey highlighted the magic of the water cycle. Through his travels, he inspired creatures and people alike to appreciate and protect the water that sustains life on Earth. And so, Drip, the little water droplet, continued his endless adventure, reminding everyone that water is life and every drop matters. In the heart of Greenleaf Forest lived a curious little bunny named Benny. Known for his floppy ears and insatiable curiosity, Benny always sought out ways to make life better for everyone. One day, while hopping through the forest, Benny noticed that many of his favorite vegetables had been tasting odd and unnatural. He soon discovered that a nearby farm had been using chemical pesticides. These pesticides not only harmed the flavor of the produce, but also affected the bees and butterflies that pollinated the plants. Disturbed by this, Benny decided it was time to take action. He envisioned a garden that was not only bountiful, but also safe for all the forest creatures. He called it the Organic Garden Project. Benny began his work with determination Choosing a sunny patch of land near a sparkling stream, Benny gathered compost from the forest floor, collected seeds from local plants, and invited his best friends to help enrich the soil naturally. His friends, a ladybug named Lucy and a worm named Walter, joined him. As Benny worked, word of his garden spread throughout the forest, though some animals were skeptical. Why not just use the fast-growing powders from the farmer's shed? Asked Terry the turtle. Benny explained that those powders harmed the soil and the insects that helped plants grow. He showed Terry how worms like Walter aerated the soil and how Lucy the ladybug kept pests under control naturally. One day, Benny faced his first big challenge. A swarm of aphids descended on his lettuce patch, threatening to ruin the crop. Benny didn't panic. Instead, he asked Lucy to rally her fellow ladybugs to feast on the aphids. Within days, the garden was back to thriving, and the other animals were amazed at how Benny had solved the problem without chemicals. Benny invited all the animals to a special garden day, Squirrels, hedgehogs, deer, and even the skeptical Terry came to see the fruits of Benny's labor. Benny gave a tour, explaining the importance of crop rotation, composting, and planting flowers. The animals marveled at the vibrant colors and rich flavors of the vegetables. During the event, Benny shared an important lesson. Our forest is a home we all share. When we take care of it, it takes care of us in return. Inspired by Benny's words, the animals decided to adopt organic practices in their own small ways. Squirrels planted nut trees, birds spread wildflower seeds, and even the turtles began using natural algae to protect their lily pads. The organic garden project became a symbol of harmony. Benny's efforts not only provided delicious food, but also taught the animals the value of working with nature rather than against it. Years later, Benny's garden grew into a vast community farm. Cared for by all the forest creatures, Benny, now an elder bunny, often sat under a giant sunflower watching the bees buzz and the butterflies flutter. His heart swelled with pride, 
knowing that his small idea had blossomed into something that nourished both the land and the community. In the end, Benny's organic garden wasn't just about growing food. It was about planting the seeds of change, showing that with patience, cooperation and love for the environment, even the smallest bunny could make a lasting impact on the world. If you like our stories, please like, subscribe and turn on the little bell so you won't miss exciting stories every day. You are also welcome to share it with family and friends to listen to the story together. Love you.